kitchen today and I thought I would do one more Thanksgiving side dish and it's a rustic mashed potato with kale. The ingredients you'll need for the dish is two pounds of yellow potatoes, four cups of chopped up kale, two tablespoons of rosemary minced, about a quarter of a cup of green onions chopped, and then four cloves of garlic. And then to season it up, some salt and pepper, some red pepper flakes, and some oil. I'm using avocado oil today. You could also use olive oil. So let's get started and I'll show you the recipe. The recipe calls for two pounds of potatoes and it'll feed about four to six people. So you can either just eyeball it or you can use your food scale. And I have this food scale from a scally that I really like. So I'll put my empty bowl on there. Press this button that says tear to bring it back down to zero. And add my potatoes until I get to two pounds. Of course it won't be exact. And maybe one more. And that brings it just over two pounds. I'll go ahead and chop up the potatoes. And they don't have to be too small. I'll just cut them in half and then maybe each side into four pieces like so. You'll also need four cloves of garlic. And I'm not going to be chopping this garlic. I'm just going to peel it. Two, these are pretty big. So I'll just give it a whack with my knife. And then that tip I will cut off. And it's fairly easy to peel after that. And that's all you do. And I will just stick it right in this pan with the potatoes. I've added water to my pot and it's probably about an inch above the potatoes and I'll take it over to the stove and start it boiling. And I will add a teaspoon of salt to my water. I'll bring that to a boil and I'll boil it until it's for, the potatoes are fork tender and that'll take about 15 minutes. And I do like to add a lid on top and that just helps the water come to a boil quicker. While my potatoes are boiling, I'll go ahead and prepare my kale. Now I did buy pre-chopped kale. Some of the pieces are a little bit large, so I think I'll go ahead and run a knife through them. Okay, that's a little bit better. And I'll put my kale into my saute pan, and this is a 12 inch saute pan. Now I'll chop up my scallions, and I have six scallions here, and all I've done is I'll just peel off the outer layer like so. And I did trim some of the green ends off, but I'll go ahead and use the remaining green ends. Some of them were just kind of, um, I don't know, a little old looking. So I'll just start by cutting off the tips. And now I'll just chop them. Add them right to my saute pan. I'll 
I'll add a little bit of my avocado oil, probably about a teaspoon or so. Now I'll turn the heat on to about medium again. And I'll just saute the kale until it's wilty. It should only take a couple of minutes. And you do want to remove your lid when your potato water starts to boil, otherwise it will boil over. So it's just coming to a boil. I'll go ahead and take the lid away. It's been sauteing for about three minutes. Now I'll chop my rosemary, and I think I'll use about three sprigs. They're a pretty good size. And all you do to get the leaves off is just start at the top and pull your fingers down. And then go ahead and grab the ones from the top that you miss. And now I just like to bunch all those leaves together, like so. And just give them a little chop. The potatoes are fork tender. I'll use this lid that has the straining feature on it and reserve about a cup of the cooking water. Now I'll drain the rest of the liquid off of the potatoes and the garlic. Now I'll dump my strained potatoes and garlic into a large bowl for mashing. And you might want to just go ahead and mash them in your pan that you use for boiling. I just don't want to use a metal masher in my pan. Now to my potatoes, I'll add my sauteed kale and green onions. I have about a third of a cup of my avocado oil. I'll add that right into my potatoes. Now you may use butter here if you prefer. This is actually a vegan recipe that I really like, so I'm using oil. I'm using this metal potato masher, and I'll just start mashing it up. Now I'll add a little bit of my reserved cooking water. I'll incorporate that and this just makes the potatoes a little bit more creamy. Now I'll add my salt and pepper. I'll start with just about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'll add my red pepper flakes. I'll just give it a couple shakes. Now I'll add my rosemary that I've chopped. Okay, and I'll just use my masher again to incorporate my seasonings. And you'll want to taste them for salt and pepper, and I think they're plenty salty enough. I'll put the potatoes into a pretty serving dish. So there you have it, rustic mashed potatoes with kale, garlic, rosemary. They're really delicious. I hope you'll give them a try. 
And they're not only just for Thanksgiving, you can make them any time of the year. They're a great side dish. And I also have been known to eat these for breakfast with a little fried egg on top. Very, very good. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.